In this illustration, we are going to study about the projectile above a charged sheet. From the surface of a large uniformly charged sheet of surface density sigma, here it is given that an electron is projected at an angle 45 degree from the surface of sheet from point A at a speed u. And it is saying if it hits the sheet at point B, we are required to calculate the distance a b and we are given to neglect gravity in this case. So here if we consider the uniformly charged sheet to be horizontal, it won't make any difference whether I consider it horizontal or vertical because we are required to neglect gravity and say it is charged at sigma coulomb per meter square. And from point A, an electron is projected with the initial speed u at an angle 45 degree. In this situation, during the motion of this electron, it will follow a projectile motion in downward direction. Its acceleration can be given as E E by m, where E is the electric field due to the sheet, which we know given by sigma by 2 epsilon naught. And as being an electron, a negatively charged particle, it experiences a downward force Q E. Charge of electron is E. So its effective gravity or acceleration due to this sheet is given as E E by m. So this acceleration we can also substitute in form of sigma. So it will be E sigma by 2 epsilon naught m. That is the acceleration acting on the projectile motion of this electron. Which completes the projectile and hits the sheet at say point B. And in this situation, we are required to calculate the distance AB if this angle is 45 degree. We know well that for a projectile, the range is given by R is equals to u square sine 2 theta by G. Or here we use g effective or the acceleration. So this range, the distance AB, we can write as u square sine 2 theta as theta is 45 degree. This can be taken as 1 divided by this I can write as sine 90 degree divided by this effective gravity, which is, which is the acceleration here. We can write as this acceleration as effective gravity. So this is E sigma by 2 epsilon naught m. So the result here will be 2 epsilon naught m u square by E sigma. That will be the result of this problem. And in all such situations which are illustration we are taking up, you need to carefully understand all type of cases which we are discussing because these cases can be a part of some difficult complex problems also.